Hi everyone, it's Kristen once again. I hope you weren't expecting someone new. Uh, this is Simply Sketching and today we are going to draw a feather. Uh, we were gonna do turkeys, but listen, that's hard. Um, that's that's for like the advanced level. This is, this is not advanced. So today we're gonna do feathers and I'm using charcoal again. And I've got my vine charcoal, I've got my pressed charcoal. You can use pencils, you can use watercolors, whatever you want. Uh, I want you to be creative when we do this. That's why I keep using different things because I want you to see that there's a variety of stuff to use. I'm not using anything special, just regular um, art paper. It's not computer paper, it's not printer paper, uh, it's not notebook paper. This is just some thick art paper. I'll be honest, I got this from my brother-in-law's grandmother. She was a peach. I love her to death. She gave me this. So we're going to use it today to draw a feather. So I'm going to start with my vine charcoal. And if you have seen the other one, I don't know when this one will come out. But if the other one is out and you've seen me use charcoal, you know how much fun it's going to be. All right. So we're going to start with a beautiful curved line. And I'm just going to start at the bottom. It doesn't need to be fancy, but it needs to be somewhat straight unless you're drawing a broken feather, which I am not. Just like that, right across your page. You don't want to do it too close to the edge because you still need room to actually draw your feather in, which we're going to do now. The feather is, I always use elongated egg, but that just works. It's going to be wider at the base. It's going to be narrower at the top. Uh, if you want it to come to a point, you can, if you don't, this is like the, like a base feather. Like this is how you draw a feather and then you can elaborate, get out there, draw your peacock feathers. Um, but this is how we're going to start. So we're going to draw an elongated egg where it is wider at the base, narrower at the top, narrow, narrower. That's a man. That's a word right there. It's going to look something like that. Isn't that? just glorious that is a glorious feather and guess what we get to do we get to erase this feather using your paper towel if you're at home and you want to clean up a mess by all means use your hands if not use a paper towel your hands are still going to get covered in charcoal but it won't be as much we erase this so now you have the beginnings of shading already started you have the white of your paper and now your feather is this beautiful light gray color, which means you can go back in and you can erase some of that gray color and you have highlights already. You don't have to add highlights in. You don't have to get white paint. You don't have to get a white gel pen. You just erase it and there's highlights. So now I'm going to use my pressed charcoal and now I'm going to draw the outline. But I'm going to start with the, the shaft of the feather. I almost called it a stem. It's not a stem. It's the shaft of the feather. And that is not just a single line. That's actually a whole, it's thick at the bottom, thick at the bottom, thinner at the top. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna draw it where it's thicker and as it goes up through the feather, it gets thinner, but there's still a white gap in between. Now, I recommend you sharpen your charcoal a little bit before you do this. I didn't. My, my mistake, my bad. Sharpen it, a uh, razor blade knife. If you're safe enough to do it, that's a good way to sharpen it. I don't think it'll fit in a pencil sharpener, but it might be good to try it. But sharpen it a little bit if you wanna have nice, crisp, clean lines. If you don't worry about that, then keep it dull and flat, straight out the box like I did. Um, so I got my center shaft. You can kind of see how I have made it basically a double line with that white in the middle. Um, you can color that in later if you want to. You can keep it clear. Now we're going to make our feather, but instead of making it this beautiful solid oval like we did when we first drew it, now we're going to add some character to it. That means before I even start, I'm going to add some wispies at the bottom. Just some wispy feathers. They might have separated from the shaft. They might have separated from... If you've ever grabbed a feather off the ground and pulled them apart, you know what I mean by separating. You know, they're stuck together almost like Velcro when you can satisfyingly pull them apart if you so choose. Don't do it on a live bird. They need those feathers. <laughs> I can't get through this without laughing. All right, so now we're going to draw our feathers. So we're going to start like we did where we start a wider base, drawing our elongated egg. But now I want to I want to kind of drop back a little bit 
every so often and make a little make a little indent I hope you can see that make a little indent and then I start again you know I start again I start back up on that line and oh I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna go up and then I'm just gonna make a, a sharp little cut to the inside we're just giving it character and I'm gonna go up, uh, go up a little farther and now that split that we just talked about not being good for birds I'm gonna make one of those so I'm gonna split it all the way down to the shaft and then I'm gonna bring it back up and start again until I get all the way to the top of one side. So something like that. And then you finish the other side now. Oh, I'll go up the other side and oh man, another split. And I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna finish the top. And so this is what it looks like. So you can leave it like this if you want to. That's a beautiful feather. Color it in. Uh, what do they call those? Those Zen tangles. This would be a good little coloring for a Zen tangle where you draw all the different designs and then color it in. I'm just going to give it a little bit of character. I'm going to draw a couple curved lines in here to kind of give it some dimension, some depth. That way later on, if I choose to, I can do some more shading to this and it'll be beautiful. And within those lines, I'm going to draw some other lines and it's going to look like that. And that is a feather. If you choose to, you can shade this a little more. Like I said, you can erase some highlights into it. That'll make it look absolutely beautiful. Color it in. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using marker over it. Uh, watercolor would work pretty well, but uh, colored pencils will be the best. So that is another episode of Simply Sketching. There's a feather. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you get all the charcoal off your hands. Thank you, and have a great night. Hey everyone, uh, I hope you liked that drawing of the feather with charcoal. I just wanted to show you another example of um, after you get done and you want to add a little more shading to it and maybe maybe lift out some of those highlights. This is one, I hope you can see it okay, where I, and I did, I did this quickly. I didn't, I didn't take a lot of time and you don't need to on sketches. Don't take a lot of time. Put some color in there, put your charcoal in there, lay in some dark colors, get some light colors. And all of a sudden, you're going to have something that is really looking really nice. And then you can move on to more intricate detail. You know, you can you can start doing the peacock feathers and, you know, adding stripes or, or the zentangles. That would be kind of cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.